welcome back to my channel if you're new always welcome here today i'm super excited i'm going to be doing a review on some of my new finds i got my hands on the new westman lipsticks they're refillable super hydrating it feels like i have nothing on my lip it kind of reminds me a little bit of the um rihanna lipsticks you know the first ones that she came out the, sh the little yeah I used to have the red shade and although the reds are different shades of red, the feel of it, except this feels a little better. This feels a little bit more buttery. These are matte. I got it in the shade Pip. I thought it was so springy and I never get red. Even like when Rihanna came out with it, I got the red because I was like, I never get red. Let me try something new. Um, I kind of like it. I think it's a little blue, but I see the potential. Anyway, I got to try that, um, and then I'm going to be trying out one of the new uh, Gen C eyeshadow shades. It is in the shade Hollywood, and I'm also going to be trying out the highlight of this video. is going to be the EXA Concealer. This is, I think it's called High Fidelity um, Concealer. It has 12-hour hold. It has vitamin E. It's supposed to be super hydrating, non-creasing, long-wearing, medium to full coverage. It's supposed, to be, it's supposed to feel very lightweight, but provide everything that you need. It's stick. You can wear it as a concealer or use it as spot concealing, right? And the shade range looks pretty okay. So we're going to be trying it out today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look, but mostly it's going to be a review on those three products. I'm going to be trying out some new stuff and some stuff that I already love. <laughs> <laughs> all right this hair with this makeup is just tripping me out <laughs> all right if you guys want to see how i got this look or what my thoughts are on those products go ahead and watch it all right guys so my skin is already prepped right i already have my moisturizer my spf my brows are done my brows pencil is the ilia brows pencil in soft black i'm going in with my primer and the primer i'm using is the exa smoothing primer i'm putting it around my nose my mouth and a little bit of my forehead where just in the areas where i get really oily where i want like the foundation or whatever product i'm putting to lay down smoother and just areas where i crease the most I then went in with my Cosas BB Burst. I've done a review on this on my uh, channel. So if you guys want to see a full video on that, you can go ahead and check it out. I really like this BB Burst. It's really nice, super hydrating, evens up my skin. This is the Exa New Concealer. This is how much you get. And I know it looks super light. I think it's the lighting, but it's actually a pretty good shade for me. It's my brightening shade for sure. Um, but it's a good match it's definitely the right undertone i like how it sits on the skin this concealer is supposed to be a 12 hour long wear concealer non-increasing super hydrating it's supposed to be buildable on one side i just did one layer and then on this side you guys are going to see me really just pack it on so i did a layer and then i go back and do another layer just to see how it would sit and i think i like the lightweight version i did on the other side i think it sat on my skin a lot more nicer and also because i don't need a lot of coverage right like i only need a little bit of coverage so i liked how the other side looked but this is definitely a concealer that you can build up to get full coverage i think what i like most about this concealer though is that you can wear this on its own it doesn't need a foundation i think the next them the next thing i'm going to do is get one that matches my skin tone so that i could just apply it as a foundation or spot concealing type of product versus something i wear just under my eyes um i'm going in with the dragon fruit blush from gen c and you guys i did a little mishap with the blushes you guys will see later but i'm also setting the under eyes differently so on the lightweight side i'm usually i'm using my um westman powder just to set it just to see what it looks like to be set with a lightweight powder so i did that on one side and then on the other side i used a translucent powder the matte powder uh, loose powder to set it and i used a little bit of a sponge or a puffer too just to see if it would make a difference and honestly it looked flawless both ways i like that it's a concealer that you can build up i did not crease on me but again it might look different on everyone right i don't have mature skin 
my skin overall is pretty well i don't have a lot of like uh, discoloration under my eyes so there wasn't a lot to cover but it looks great both ways i think i liked it more with the <laughs> mop powder so i did go in just a little bit on the other side to even it out i'm using my mop bronzer just to bring back a little bit of color now this is where it gets a little tricky you guys I got a little bit carried away with my blush and I definitely used the wrong brush. This is the RMS uh, brush, but I think I just got a little heavy handed and I used way too much of my blush. I was so panicked. I got very nervous. You could see it all over my face. I was like, how do I save this? But it didn't even really look that bad. I think, <laughs> I think it was just <laughs> a lot more pinkier than i imagined and also like keep in mind that dragon fruit by gen c is such a pink blush already i just wanted to put a little bit of the rms blush to warm it up but yeah anyways i ended up saving it and then i'm trying out the westman lipstick i got it in the shade pip guys stunning stunning i don't know are they worth 50 dollars i actually have to say yes right logically it's a refillable lipstick so you always it'll always be a little bit cheaper the second time you get it and the color options still won't wear like it's such you know what i mean it's 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 an experience anyway i'm going in with the gen c new eyeshadow shade and i think the shade is called hollywood i believe it's a like a pinky rosy type of glittery shimmer it's a metallic it's nice i like it this is a mascara i've really 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 been liking it's by the brand is called sweet sweet yeah it's called sweet beauty and the mascara that i've been loving is called clouds such a good mascara to finish it off i'm using my exa hydrating spray my bottle is almost done this is a product that i love super hydrating it's I need it to finish a look. Do you see just how hydrated I look? It brought back my skin to life. I'm glowy. I'm super hydrated. It has like that radiance finish to it. I'm going in just a little bit under my eyes to make sure that nothing creases and everything is set. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I try. I thought it would be better to do a voiceover. You guys let me know. Do you prefer when I talk throughout the videos or do you prefer a voiceover like what is your preference what are you guys into yeah let me know let me know um if you guys end up trying any of these products let me know down below in the comment section i'm going to be writing down all the products that i used to do this look down below in the description box and i'll try to like link the brand as well if you guys are not subscribed make sure to subscribe like whatever whatever i try to post once a week i've been getting better i've been getting better i have so many new exciting things coming up guys i'm not gonna lie i kind of like this red i kind of like this red, but i would be so shy to go outside with it just because i just feel like it's so bold it's like hi how are you you know what i mean all right anyway thank you so much for watching this video um make sure to follow me on tiktok you guys i post so much more on tiktok i'm not more active i'm there once a day all right, bye guys, have a good day.